Arjan in the Netherlands, which I always equate to just Holland, but I know it's more than just Holland. But anyway, he writes to me and he says, Paul, I am aware that solid state amps are sounding better if they're left powered on. And I know this is not a good idea for a tube power amp, obviously, but how about a tube preamp? Can you leave that powered on for a long time without re degrading really fast? Thanks, mate. Arjan, why? Thanks, mate. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Um, I'm not a fan of leaving tubes on whether it's a preamp or a power amp. Now, I do at Octave Studios. There's a pair of BHK 300 amplifiers that's pretty much on all the time, but it means that every three or four months I'm changing the vacuum tubes in it. And the reason I bring the BHK 300 up is it has only a tube preamp. So it's a power amplifier, but its input stage has a tube, which is essentially a tube preamplifier. So there's no power going through that tube. And my preference on that is to just put it in standby mode and turn it off. And I, I, you know, look, tubes are always going to be a compromise, always. They just, it's one of the reasons we moved away from tubes for years and years and years until the great Bascom King and, and my old mentor, Arnie Newdell, convinced me to put a vacuum tube on the input stage <laughs> of the BHK series. And, and Ooh la la. Now, I have recently heard some pretty scary sounding new solid state designs, new ones that have never been done before that I, I'm like, whoa, okay. So who knows where the future goes, but if you have a tube preamplifier, if you have a tube power amplifier, I do recommend turning them off and letting them rest. And again, it's a compromise because leaving them on sounds better, but it does shorten their life. So there you have it. Okay. Thanks for the question. Bye.